Oh, I made a little bit of money. I Then let me get lost if you don't Look at the reaction when I hit him with the phone Got fizzy in the back, got cello in the front Listen to the record, boy, I got what you want yeah. What's going on everybody? Mike G here, the founder of Chrome Vending And I've been getting a lot of questions about what to look for with money As far as serial notes, star notes, errors, and much more And what type of things that I look for So I'm just going to share a few of the things that I look for And it may be something you may want to look for in your own vending machines Or even in your own pocket change I've been studying and reading up on it for over a year now But honestly, by no means am I any expert So when I don't know I ask. So today, I'm sharing with you the opportunity that I had to speak with an experienced collector. I took him the collection that I've been building up for over the past year, and this is what he shared with me. But before we get into the video, y'all do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you can get instant notifications every time I upload new videos. This one's not too bad. Okay, you're probably looking at uh, about, I'd say, 25 to 27 for that one. Okay. Oh, wow. Before we go any further, for those of you who are interested, I want to share a little cheat sheet with you. A few things that you can look for. I'm going to run through them real quick. Solid is just strictly eight numbers, the same kind. A ladder is a straight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, zero, one, two, three, four. Then we have a super radar, which is eight, three, 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 eight. It's the same backwards as frontwards. Then we have the super repeater example, 16, 16, 16, 16. It just shows the same number a couple of times, four times in a row. Uh, a radar repeater. So we have 0110010. Another example, 3553, 3553. Then we have the double quad, which is 77772222. Then we have seven in a row which we have whatever the number could be, five, and then two, 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 two. Then we have actually seven of a kind, which is not in a row, it's just on there. So nine, two, nine, 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 nine. Then we have the radar, which is seven, seven, three, four, four, three, seven, seven. So it goes backwards. Repeater, eight, three, two, one, eight, three, two, one. Then we have a binary, which is just two numbers and nothing more. So here we have fives and eights. Doesn't matter how many of which one it is. And then we have a flipper. A flipper is whatever number you have, if you can flip the bill upside down and it reads the same number. So 69008168. If you flip that number upside down, I'm going to go ahead and flip it upside down. It still reads a number, 89180069. So that's the number that I put right over here. There are a couple other things too, like birth dates, if you can find a birth date bill, and star notes. But those are a few things to look for. And each one has a different value. Depends on how it looks. You just have to go to a dealer or read up in a book and look it up and figure out which one's worth what for you. I just put them all up when I find interesting numbers. And I'll take it to a professional and get whatever, you know, whatever their idea is that it's worth. Mm -hmm. This is a 2004 note. Now this one here is a good one because, see, you got four, you got four fours there in a row. Yeah, that, that's why see, I pulled that one aside. You, you got four fours there in a row. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I collect. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one here is a pretty decent one too. But it's not my. This, Those marks. See this blotch there? That's what hurts it. Yeah, it's definitely. It's not so much that, but see, that's what hurts it when you get blotches or when they run. Pink marks on them, things yeah. like that, definitely. That, yeah, that kind of hurts them a little bit. Let's take that, a look here. Yeah, that's a nice star note. A nice one here. Yeah. I got a Grant 50 also that's a star note. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I know those are a little okay. harder to come by. Yeah, they are. Okay. Have... Yeah. Yeah, keep this one, keep this one nice like that. Keep yeah, I that... try to keep them flat in okay. here. Yeah, yeah, keep them nice and flat. If Probably that one on. didn't have the writing on it, it would be it would be a lot better. This one, this one here, you're looking at probably right around 25 to 28. Okay. Because that's that's a decent 2004. Well, you got to figure. 
2004, now look how old that bill is. Yeah. And what you want to look at is your corners and stuff. You got, yeah. That, that, that's nice condition. That's okay. nice condition there. I got more, a couple more star notes here. Those are ones. Yeah. So these are more the ones I find in the machines, definitely. Now, okay. Now let me show you on this one here. Okay. Okay. See here? You got 49, right? Uh-huh. You got 49. If if this 8 would have been a 9, that's what they that's what they call a repeater. A repeater, yeah. Yeah. But you're one number off of being a repeater. That would be decent. You got one little corner that's hurting you there. But that otherwise that'd be what is this? Oh, this is an A. That's about that's at least a twenty-five dollar note. Even like that, because that's an A. That's yeah, that's not bad. That, no, you got here. Now see see this spot see these star notes? Uh-huh. This is the stuff you want to put in those for, right here in the start. Okay. Especially in this condition. Definitely. Definitely in this condition. You want to put in there. Oh yeah. This, see here. You got some nice condition ones here. You got some in really nice condition. Oh yeah. You want to put these in there. That that's really good condition. You're in the right position. Yeah, you I told you that a long time ago yeah, when I, I met you. you. Remember, I, I told yeah. you I had a whole and bunch I told of you. I said, Drew, you got the perfect business to really get some nice stuff. And yeah. I said, that's what I said. I told you, you know, when you, when you come and you talk to me, I said, I think I said, I hope he realizes what he's got there and what to look for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always looking for me. I, mean, I, I don't know as much as you all know about it, but you know, I dibble and dabble in it and do my thing as well. You know what? Education is for everybody. That's where it you is. Learn. Definitely. And Every I, day I'm learning. You know what? And I have no problem of teaching people, showing people, getting books out, yeah. and showing them this is what you got, or this is what you need to look for. That would be decent. You got one little corner that's hurting you there. But that, otherwise, that'd be. What is this? Oh. Oh, that's an A. That's an A. I got a... This is an A. That's about... That's at least a $25 note. Even like that, because that's an A. That's, yeah, that's not bad. That, no, you got some... Damn. What happened? If... Can you imagine if that number would have been a six? Yeah, that would have been a repeater that it would have been. A repeater? One, and six, one, six, six, one, six, one. Do you realize what kind of money that would be? What do you if, think it would have been worth? Huh? What do you think that would have been worth if that was a six? If, if that was a six? Just just uh, to, to put it out there. You're looking just to start a hundred bucks. Just starting a hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, for that's a five. Really, yeah. Starting a hundred bucks. Yeah. Even with the little smudge right there? Yeah. And everything. Yeah. And that's in the condition it's in. It's yeah. wrinkled. It came out of circulation. We got another one here in the tent. Same another, way. Another, what I need to put them in. Yep. Okay. It's a hard plastic. Just how much plastic. is that? This is 12 bucks for the whole pack. And how many is in there? 25 of them? Yep. Okay. Now, which are the ones that I should put in there? The ones that you said were. Okay. Um, first of all, if you do that, if yeah, buddy, first of all, you want to do is, uh -huh. get, is get your star notes. Yeah, put all my star notes in those. Get your star notes and then go to your oldest bills that you got, like the 80, 88, uh -huh. the 95. Pick out your best condition ones and put them in there. Okay. And let me see what you got in $2 bills and I'll tell you if you should use any of those. Okay, so we got what? United States coins. Yeah, 2019. You want, you want this book and this coin book? Gives you a good guide. Gives Coin you a world. Good is this uh, like a monthly editorial? This is a magazine that comes out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. All and right. this is a monthly. This is for your bill. This is. This has all your U.S. currency in it. And you get you got a subs uh, subscription to yeah. it. Yeah. That it comes every month or yeah. every bi-monthly no. or every how month. Every, every month. month. Yeah. Okay. Check out time.
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it to the end, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Until then, I'll see you next time I make another video.